In this video, I'm going to talk about the general features of the lumbar vertebrae. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. In order to understand how the lumbar spine is moving, we first have to gain knowledge about the basic features of a lumbar vertebrae. This video is designed to give you a short introduction before we dive deeper into the function and further details. If you want to get the most out of this video, I recommend you that you have a spine in front of you or a specimen of a lumbar vertebra. In my case, it's L5. So the anterior part of the lumbar vertebrae is a block of bone called the vertebral body. Seen from above, it assumes the shape of a kidney, although this specimen that I have here is a bit more rounded. The perimeter of each surface is marked by bone that is slightly raised. We call this rim apophysis. If we go a bit more posterior, we come across two stout pillars of bone called the pedicles, which means feet in Latin. From the side you can see that they attach to the upper part of the vertebral body, which can help you identify top and bottom of a vertebrae. The whole arch of bone that is attached to the vertebral body is called the neural arch, which forms the neural foramen, where the spinal cord is passing through. Projecting from each pedicle to the midline is the so-called lamina, which can be seen from posteriorly in its full extent. Posteriorly, the lamina blends into the spinous process, which we can see perfectly from above. If we look at the lamina from posteriorly, we can see that the inferior border of the lamina extends in the so-called inferior articular processes, and we have the same situation at the superior border of the lamina, where we have the superior articular processes. The medial side of the superior articular processes are covered by cartilage on their medial side, and the inferior articular processes are covered by cartilage on the lateral side. These cartilage covered areas are also known as the articular facets. At the extension lateral from the junction of the pedicle and the lamina, we find a bar of bone called the transverse process, which got its name from its transverse orientation. Near the attachment to the pedicle, you have a small bony prominence called the accessory process, which unfortunately does not exist in a specimen that I have here. Another small bump that attaches to the posterior edge of the superior articular processes are the so-called mammillary processes, which in Latin means little breasts. In side view, you can see two notches the superior notch and the inferior notch, which is way deeper. When two lumbar vertebrae are articulating, these two notches face each other and form the intervertebral foramen. Alright, this was our video about general features of the lumbar vertebrae. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video in which I will cover particular features of the vertebral body. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you still have any questions, comment down below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't and check us out on various social media like Instagram, Facebook or on our webpage physiotutors.com. This was Kai, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.